Greetings, my name is Telrin Sir of House Telvani, Master of Alteration and Transdimensional Dynamics. It has come to my attention that it is popular belief that House Telvani was destroyed during the Argonian invasion. This is far from the truth. And a journal from a traumatized wet nurse aboard a fleeing Telvani vessel is far from accurate. I'm here to tell you all what really happened on the Telvani side of things during the Argonian invasion. With the eruption of Red Mountain, House Telvani on Vonfell was in a great state of disarray. This is true, but on the mainland, we were still very much active. I myself took part in the creation of a powerful magical barrier using advanced magics that protected Port Telvanis from Red Mountain's falling debris, saving critical Telvani knowledge from certain destruction. Unfortunately, during our recovery, the Argonians attacked, sacking most of southern Morrowind, including Mornhold. Sacking Mornhold boosted Argonian morale, driving them to push further into Morrowind and seek Telvani blood. The savages managed to pick apart many Telvani cities and settlements, but while blinded with bloodlust, they didn't realize wizards whose age span millennia were planning a counter-attack. Myself, Master Arong, Nevaeth Fair, and Baladas Demnevani, in our combined genius, found we could use the erupted ash from Red Mountain to our advantage. Using the ancient techniques of dust adepts, masters of alteration and ash magics, we quickly trained what magic-savvy forces we could in the ancient art of ash magic. Deveth Fair also unveiled one of his greatest experiments, a modified corpus disease, one that gives the infected all of the positive effects of corpus while neutralizing the negative effects. We now had an extremely potent force. Unfortunately, the time it took to build such a force gave the Argonians plenty of time to advance further into Telvani territory. But this was no matter. The lizards couldn't make it past Telmoth Riva once we began our counter-attack. The ash magic and corpus augmentations proved to be extremely effective. I remember the superheated ash storm our forces conjured. It melted the armor in scales off of every Argonian in sight. And in melee combat, the corpus augmentations proved effective against the Argonian's hist field strength and rage. By the time the Argonians began their retreat from Telvani territories, House Redoran was cutting them off from the south. The invasion was halted. And with the invasion halted, we began to secure our original holdings. Our small force now calls themselves Ash Weavers, and remain to be a powerful force. Little to their knowledge, the Bay of Fair can kill them all instantly if they forget who gave them their power. But they remain useful for now, especially during these turbulent times. In conclusion, House Telvani is certainly not what it used to be, but it is certainly not gone. 